They're gonna axe. Okay, so there's you there's the your there's your initiation set up potential for your Murano. Very good lane matchup versus the Faceless Void as well. Like this is the hero where that's how they kill the the Ember this game with the axe and then you know the the Void Spirit follow up whether it's the Murana to catch with the arrow, the Drow even silence as well. Put the cookie into the crush. Drow's gonna take a bit of damage here. Very nicely done from Radiance. They actually might even secure first blood. Oh, mate, pops the fairy fry. He's going to try and get underneath the tower. The Yang will be able to secure that. He's going to pay with his life as the kill does get split. But the fact that Radiant get the first blood there is very important. Like, just because the, the creep equilibrium, Ame had to hit creeps instead of playing aggressive with that AT. So it really at least gave Radiant, like, a little bit of a breathing room there. Now, once again, they're back on the Drow here. This combo, FY just allowing Yang to get on top of them. I mean, it's going to pay the price, actually, with the Bash coming through. When it pops the Fairy Fire. The kill is going to get split once again, but Yang's got another Bash shot with two points in it. It's an immense amount of damage. So this lane's gone a lot better than I expected. Again, I think level one, level two, died didn't get as aggressive. Because they are now down in, in regen. So, you know, this is now... Bottom's going to be the big kind of factor of where they can come back from as yours. Doesn't have the time walk. If Faith Beyond can find the call, the arrow's gonna set up. They need a couple of spins, and maybe they'll lost right click and they'll get it. It's a big one for Faith Beyond. Now they're gonna lose the Cora as well, which was a stick and a ward. And to get the right clicks, but a nice cookie up on the higher ground. Y and FY just battling it out. Both mids have level 6 too. No, 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 no. Gotta keep that in mind. Nothing to say. Actually finds him here. Beautifully done. Oh my lord. That was a lot of bursts. I thought Ember was just going to jaunt away. Now up to top. Arme is getting dived. Yang finds the kill. He's going to die once again, though. So two deaths to Yang, but that's three deaths here for Arme's Draw Ranger. Man. All right. So what do they got in the jungle? No real stacks. That's a big kill from Void Spirit. I'm still surprised how we got that. Down bot. Axe. Yang's coming over. Yuris doesn't have the ult to it. Why can he get in range though? How for the Echo Somp just a little bit late, but nothing to say with the double damage rune. I'm gonna try and get in range, Yuris. They're actually wanting to man fight because even Somnus is showing up to the brawl as well. Nothing to say he's gonna move forward, but the chains holds them both back here, and why is gonna pay the price? Void Spirit's just going to be able to get out with that last ultimate charge, but it's a double kill for Yuris. Mirana, I mean Starstorm is maxed out, but Void Spirit's showing it as well, and Radiant are pretty okay with taking the fight because they've got all their ultimates and they're a very high level. They're going to try and burst down the start up with the fault coming through from the elder tide of Red Panda. Can he get the relocate out in time? He does. And now Yuris drops the Chronophyte with the kisses from downtown. Axe, incredibly tanky. He's not going to die from the combo, but looks like Somnus is going to be able to go forward. He actually joins straight to the remnant. He's going to be careful, Somnus. About a third HP. But Red Panda is going to be able to come back with the sustain. OGD really trying to hold this tower at the moment, but looks like without the axe to counter initiate, Yang's going to try and get him. Involved. Chains holds him back. Yang's got the fault damage. It's a double kill for Somnus. Now they can continue chasing. They saw the drow. So Ame's got to dip out of here. But a big, big play from Elephant. It does force at least a lot of rotations down bot from Radiant as Faith Beyond. Gonna be able to get the call, finds two, but where's the follow with the Earth Spider? Nothing says gonna get involved as well. They need to be able to bring down the Iowa, and they do just that. Now Yuri's gonna show up out, but it's a perfect chronosphere. Where's the fall from FY with the Mod of Kisses? It's holding it all three with this damage coming out. It's too much for them to deal with as LGD. They'll lose three. A massive chrono, it does cost Yuris his life. They see a lot of the Radiance movements, so, so gaining this information. They're going to try and set up and see how they can find this uh, perfect initiation from Faith Beyond. The Radiant, they're going to smoke up. Smoke on Moonlight. Yang's going to end up popping there. I need to be careful. That's some incredibly important targets here with the call coming out. They've got the arrow set up as well. The Ember's going to be in trouble with the combination. It's beautiful from LGD, but they still get stuck inside the Corona Spear. It's holding three in place with the Kiss as well. Not that he's in trouble. He's still got the Yule Scepter to be able to utilize here, but the Cookie from FY is going to just be able to find him before the Yules. They've got a cancel of the TP as well. So 5 4 from Elephant. Man, what an initiation. The Axe Call with the Mirana follow up. Because if Radiant have information of where the axe is, then they will know where is safe and where isn't safe to farm. And die, they're going to smoke up Radiant. Their ultimates are available. Faith Beyond. Running up the higher ground. He's going to be able to find Yang. 
Gets the call with the arrow fall up. Iris in the area. Red Panda hasn't gone for the relocate just yet. And now with the USF actually locks him in place. But on top of the back line, they're going to try and deal with the Drow Ranger. Chronosphere lock him in. But where's the fall up? There's coming through with the Mortimer Kisses. But nothing to say. Instantly cancels that one out. So it's a two for one to start. Faith Beyond once again with the fall up. But here we go. Eurus is silenced. He eats the arrow as well. The M is falling low. But they're going to turn their attention to the faces point. Who's locked in place with the fall up? Echo Storm. It's a triple for Faith Beyond. But look at them go. Sniff and blood. As FY chase down here, they get the root. No matter actually for the call, but it looks like nothing to say should be able to catch. He's got the yours for the remnant. Man, that is a incredible fight for Dyer's actually. Somnus is going to go forward. They got the yours. Is call available? No mana. Somnus actually man fighting with Red Panda back alive. He's going to try and bring down one. Finds the Elder Tired and is going to try and chase for more. His fate beyond falling pretty low. He's going to blink up in a couple seconds. Something to say. Gets the silence. Uh, they need to disengage. Actually, nothing to say. He wants to get aggressive. Straight on top of Red Panda, but he doesn't have any more ultimate charge to be able to utilize. Now with the Searing Chain stuck in place. Another Yours Sept is going to give him some space required. Got to be careful though, because Jane's got the follow up. Link Crush off the mark. So a big fight. Radiant, they lose four. But it's the right mindset from nothing to say. They need to hunt the snap fire because it is a lot of damage in Chrono. Oh, Goblops in Q. They get the stun. Dire. Numbers are collapsing on mid. They're going to be able to bring down the slot. Now they got the fault as well. It's a quick slide. So I'm just going to be careful. He's slowed down. So the remnant is not getting any distance. Where's the fault? The sound's actually going to be there fast enough. It's going to get brought down. Uh oh, they're in trouble here. Elephant. FY's got a cookie. Can it get over? He'll make it on the higher gun, but they should be able to fall. Faith Gun's got the blink. I mean, that's Roche. If they want it, they can probably just take objectives as well. Oh, they want blood. Why is hunting? They know the bounties are there. As they're going to get once again all four bounties across the map along with the ages, it looks like. They're thinking about doing something. Why is going to find Eurus? Oh, actually, does he? No, there's still a tree there. Eurus has to pop the BKB. Drops the Chronosphere now as well. Yang's even going to come over for the, again. They don't have the Ember, so Dire, if they can get a vision from one hero for Faith Beyond. You're so... Oh, okay, jump forward. Yang, gotta be careful here. Zinku. Now Faith Beyond. He wants blood. He gets the call. Taunts up the Io. They're not really in range here of Dire. They're coming over. Faith Beyond even commits the BKB. Meanwhile, up top, Slaughter's even gonna die as well. So it's two across the map. And FY could be in trouble. Zin Q with the Yours. Man, these Yours Scepters are just catching out. Radiant, left, right, and center. That's a double for Faith Beyond. They're not even done. They find the Void. That's a massive kill. The BKB is available. Yours actually time walking aggressively. He's gonna try and TP out. Faith Beyond's got the call. Yours, what is that time walk? Where are you going, sir? He somehow still gets away. Oh my lord, that gave me a heart attack. And I don't think Radiant will get a tier 2 beforehand. So maybe they will fight bot potentially to try and get the outpost. The die have very good vision in the area. You do take a look though. Look at Radiant, what is, they're seeing. Well aware of where Faith Beyond's positioned. Can he get the blink? Actually, gonna jump forward. Nothing to say. He instantly pops the BKB. Now with the call, they're gonna try and turn on top of the Slaughter. They need to find the Drow Ranger. They've got the vision, the moment, but now with the Silence actually prevents the relocate. So Slaughter's gonna end up falling. They got the Echo Stomp into the Silence combo. So now with another kill as well. Really nicely played from LGD. Eurus finally has his MKB completed. Who holds the high ground though? Uh oh, Faith Beyond. Smoke's gonna pop. He's not in the best spot here. The initiation crushes off the mark. Now they're going to counter Fate to be on. Now with the call on the back line. They're going to find the snap fire. Instantly bursting through the slot. And now with the multi shot as well. Iris is just going to get brought down with the secondary call. Radiant, they're going to disengage. But they can't do so fast enough. But the movement speed slow. Fate to be on is going to be able to come forward. But it's Chronosphere just locks in one. The Mirana, it's not the all important target here. They need to find the Drow Ranger. They're unable to do so successfully. So I'm just had to pop the 10 second BKB to disengage. But it looks like they're in trouble. As snap fire caught out with nothing to say. He's void spirit. But they're not done. As Eurus, he's getting hunted down here. Nothing to say. He's almost got that ultimate back available. So it looks like Eurus is going to get caught out here. No BKB. They've got the follow-up. Perfect timing in the Echo Stomp to allow Armei to get in range. That's four dead on Elephant. We just see, man, that perfect Delta split. Eurus doesn't have buyback for 35 seconds. And even if he comes alive, he doesn't have Chrono. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. I just want to bring Somnus back, who's looking like he's trying to split push out the map, because he doesn't actually have a TP. Radiant's but 
The IO is in. What? I was in goddamn big amount of trouble. What is that relocate? Ember stays top. <laughs> what a... Okay, Slada keeps his life. Oh, that's not down. That was his 10 second duration as well. And Dyer, they're all alive to go through it. Bubble up. There we go. Euro straight into the middle. Doesn't actually find the connection at the moment. Now, nothing to say towards the southern side. Instantly bursts through Yang, who doesn't have a buyback. Now, Faith beyond with the counter initiation, straight on top of the faceless void, instantly dropping the Gs before he dies. Man, LGD. What a game one. What. That's an incredible performance from them. Like, the laning stage is. Top didn't go as well as I expected for them. Void got a lot more fun than I expected. So, on paper, it looks like it's a Slaughter's Ven lane. Two strength heroes versus Timber is a massive, massive yikes. I mean, this is a good... I love this Timber pick. Hang on. Once again, we're going to see Dai just preemptively drop that sentry just in case. Uh, with the wrap realm. <laughs> Never mind. No real wrap realm. So we're going to have to keep a bit of an eye down bot. There's going to be a lot of kill threat as they find. Why? Triple Sun's coming out. Why can he stay alive? Won't be able to, so first blood's gonna get picked up from Eurus. Really nicely done from Elephant. Yeah, this triple stun lane. Oh, did they block the camp? They did. Yeah, this triple stun. What? Oh my god, Yang's a boss. Where they can try and make space for Ame eventually as this game goes on. Oh, they got the full wrap from Red Panda. Ame could be in trouble, actually. But the, actually, the Mortimer Kisses as well from Somnus is going to try and run towards the Snapfire, but it just doesn't matter. Dude, they are completely leaving Ame on an island. A lot of stuns from Radiant, so nothing to say. He's going to have to play pretty careful this game. Once again, they don't have the easiest ways to and execute as Eurus down, but... Uh-oh, this is a big kill to get. Nothing to say. Misses the combo, actually. Now, Eurus with the rotation coming through from Red Panda. I don't think the Slaughter is going to do enough. They get the kick slow. Now with the follow-up, nothing to say. We'll pop that last ultimate. Does free up mid, so we see the snap fire instantly trying to shove in the wave and put some pressure on top of the tower. They just take a fat stack away. Eurus got an extra one to play with. Dyer trying to smoke up the to top to find Yang, but Radiant, they're mirroring the movements perfectly here. Yang has the Ravage. Can they chain lock him down and burst him before Ravage? Yeah, with the Mortal Kisses, they're all grouped up on top of the kiss. Oh my lord. Perfection from Radiant. As Somnus finds a triple, Yang's start tanked him up and off that level 8, allowed him to get the Ravage off. This is going to be the first tier 1 tower of the game now claimed. I mean, Timber's going to try and TP up. He doesn't have reactive armor stacks though, so Faith Brown's going to be kind of careful, but looks like LGD want to punish, knowing the ultimates are on cooldown. Somnus will end up falling. Ame's even going to show up with the haunt as well. Slowing down FY. Yang's going to try and delta split to the northern side. Do they have the damage to be able to bring him down? They don't. And now it looks like even FY is going to make it out as well. So all of Dai come over. Meanwhile, Red Panda's trying to soak up a little bit of experience down. But Eurus is loving life on this Sven. Oh, actually, FY. Nicely done. Really need to see these rotations start to come through, though. He's going 2 one, four. Hmm. Yang is posturing very aggressively with the Ravage on cooldown. Awesome rotations. Nothing to say. He's even going to show up as well. Actually, Astral steps into the LSA. Now, nothing to say. He's going to be careful. He might end up dying here. They bring down the Timber. Yuris is going to show up as well. He needs to get the Storm Hammer, but the Mask of Man is going to be able to cancel that. And now, Faith Beyond, he's got 24 reactive armor stacks. This is a hard man to bring down with the roll forward. They find this Ven. So, this Pyre to pop the Mortimer Kisses. They're all grouped up, so it's an immense amount of damage here. They need to try and cancel this, but where's the stuns? Nothing to say. Actually, uses the Remnant to try and control up FY instead of canceling the ultimate from Somnus. So, that'll cost him his life. Faith Beyond, completely out of mana. And he's going to end up falling, so... We saw last game that this Sapphire, as soon as he popped the Mortimer Kisses, now it's like the Blade Mail. The, at least it turns Spectre into a hero that can farm the Ancients because you got maxed out Dispersion and Blade Mail. Uh oh, Somnus, they know they all TP down previously to try and protect the T1 Tower, so Somnus is in trouble here. Gonna have Red Panda running. Faith Beyond doesn't have too much mana to be able to utilize here, but it looks like it should be enough with all the pure. Now they're gonna go for more. Kick slows down Red. 
Just gonna zone him away. They really want this tower. And we see that this Spectre's net worth. I mean, they've given him space around the triangle camp. So Spec is now getting a lot of farm. And he's actually gonna be going for a Radiance as his next item. It's Faith Beyond. Doesn't really have too many reactive armor stacks. He's gonna be careful though. They really want the tower. One's gonna fly, die. They're gonna try and take the fight. They can burst him down with the Ravage coming through with the Mortimer Kisses. Faith Beyond crushed up at the last second. They need a way to cancel the Kisses. They do so, but what's the consequences? Radiant, they're gonna end up losing three. Chase down as well. Yuris will show up, but it doesn't matter. Um, he's incredibly tanky. Red Panda's gonna buy back. He might just die here, though. He didn't cancel that TP. Yeah, bye-bye, Red Panda. That's a dieback for you, my good sir. And now, my boy, Faith Beyond, he tanks everything up. Even Earth Spirit wants a little bit of blood as well. They ping out where exactly he is. And now for the roll, Zin Q just needs the vision to allow nothing to say to jump forward. They've got a way to cancel this. They even pop the magnetize a little bit unnecessary there, but Ame, uh oh, they've smoked up. He's in trouble here. Do they want to go more deep to find Faith Beyond? Time reactive armor. Gobble up, Faith Beyond. He's in trouble. It's a lot of damage, man. Really nice initiation. The Gobble into the God Strength from Eurus. They won't. Eurus, Aegis claimed. They see the Tide posturing super aggressively, so Ame's kind of aware that something's potentially happening. They know where he is as well. Oh, Ame went back for the camp. You're in trouble. There's the Gobble up. They've got the connection. That's going to be plenty of damage. I thought he was going to disengage when he chucked out that dagger because he saw the tide posturing really aggressively in the river. Yang? He's away from the team here, Dyer. They're coming over. He's still got the Ravage. Graves is on cooldown, however. Can they burst it before he gets the Ravage off? He's incredibly tanky, thanks to the Kraken Shell as well. We make it on the high ground. Roll forward, Zinq clips off the starter. They really want to try and find more, however, than just the starter. With the Gobble Up, stuns up too, stops the extra aggression. Yang's going to have to commit the Ravage. Now, they've got the Remnant to instantly cancel the potential in the TP. Now, down to the southern side as well. Zinq he's going to catch more. Summers, you're in trouble here. Rolls up the mark, but nothing to say. He's got the follow-up with the Scepter into the Remnant. Yuris is trying to come over with the double damage room, but he's not going to be able to get there in time. So LGD, they punish Tidehunter for staying for too long. Um, is about to have Haunt, so it's actually going to be around the same timing as the Ravage, so they won't really be able to pressure this. There's nothing to say. They get the Yule Scepter set up here. Can he get anything off? Nice LSA timing. Beautifully done from FY. He didn't get the Dissimulator. Now Y is going to be in trouble as well. They're trying to wrap over. Defensive four star, Faith Beyond's in the river too. Nothing to say. He's got a buyback if they want to take the fight here. It's a decent magnetize. But now following up, Eurus, he gets rid of the Yule Scepter. So the Earth Spirit's going to end up falling. There's no buyback from Void. They're not showing up to the fight there. A uh, little bit of miscommunication coming out. As Elephant, they'll punish them. A triple kill for Eurus. Like, Eurus has had an incredible game so far. 9-2-2. Two, and two. A much better comeback performance than we saw in game one. Azul, oh, Remnant. It gets the connection, but Ame's in trouble here. They need the vision. They're going to be able to drop it now with the Manta. Dodges the stun. Nicely done. He's going to try and get on the higher gun, but the Ravage does clip it now. The LSA follow-up. Ame's going to get brought down. Radiant, they dived incredibly deep, but they're able to punish the Earth Spirit as well. Nicely done. Like, the Void and the Earth Spirit's nice. Void's got one of the best catches in the game, probably just behind the Storm. Oh, Eurus. Already Silver's Edge. Oh, my God. He's so farmed. I think they just got vision, though. Zinku's going to roll forward. They got the haunts as well. He's going to try and instantly burst through the Earth Spirit, which will be successful. But now Yang Hauer, the full target of the Onslaught coming out from LGD. Still got the Kraken Shell. Gets rid of the Silence. Summers on top of the back line with the Mortimer Kisses. Nothing to say. Needs a way to cancel this, but the Ulcepter's going to be able to do so. They're kiting through Eurus' BKB. He's about to have the God Strength available. However, they're going to go back forward, but into the cross. Slada tries to turn, and now with the Fall from the Gobble Orb, they find a multi hero stun. But where's the damage coming through at the moment? How they got the God Strength, but it looks like he's going to end up falling gains in the blade mail dire an incredible fight for them they want more Somers pops the bkb he's trying to run away they drop the sentry perfectly played by zin q oh the catch is there lgd they punish elephant it forces the buyback out from zin q but man oh man what a fight not looking to try and take a fight inside the roche pit as elephant they're going to be able to get the second ages 
Icarus will find it. She's going to get picked up as well. Nothing to say. He's doing a very good job of keeping the, the side lane shoved in, though. I, I will point that out. FY. Finds the setup on the Enchantress. They're going to have the gold blow up follow off. Four star dodges one stun, but. They've got the repair kit at least, but I, I mean, Yuris does so much damage that he just goes through the repair kit. Now, Faith Beyond, I mean, he's just going to posture pretty aggressively with the blade mail. He's actually going to go aggressive with the timber. I'm like, oh, wing on a second. Back again. Yang. Got the Ravage, Eurus with the Silver Sedge as well. They're going to try and chuck at the Horn Army straight on top of the backline, trying to deal with the supports here. They're falling pretty low. Tight onto. Can he get the cheese off fast enough? He's still got the Ravage as well. They're stunning them both up. FY is falling incredibly low. The Ravage is going to fly. It stuns them, but where's the fall of damage? How they're coming through. Eurus without the ultimate, but now Army is going to be careful. He's going to end up dropping a Laguna Blade, just cuts him down. And now Somnus with the BKB protects him through the Mortimer Kisses, but Dyer, they're still continuing to fight. They don't have enough mana on top of Faith Beyond. And now with the follow up, Eurus has got that Superman straight on top of the Void. But they've got it disengaged. Nothing to say he's actually gonna try and buy back to rejoin the fight. So one for two. They're gonna put a Tinker Ward up top. Dyer need to try and deward their jungle while they've got an opportunity. They actually want to try and take a fight down bodies. They're gonna smoke up at all of Radiant here. It's a nice double silence. F5 falling incredibly low. They burst through both these heroes. And now OGD, they can continue for more with Roll 4. Clips on top of Eurus. So got the Aegis to be able to utilize Yang as well with the Ravage. But it looks like without the heroes, I mean, Somnus has got a buyback. They're kiting the fight to the elbow so he can rejoin the fight here. Eurus pops the BKB. He's going to try and turn with the crit coming through. They got the Lotus Orb, but it doesn't matter with the BKB. Face Beyond, can he get inside the Reaper? The straight on top of Somnus, though, he's going to be careful. Can they bring him down a second time? However, they popped the Lincolns on arm. They still continue into man fight. Nothing to say. Oh my god! The creep! Bye bye! You're out of here. Dead for 85. What the hell? How much damage was that? Oh, he's got buyback, but no timber. Why? Come on, sprites. He's posturing super aggressively. Look how fast they take the objectives. They got Deso. Yang gets the cookie stone on top of the Enchantress now with the Gobble Up. I mean, they're trying to take through all the abilities. They'll buy back on the Spectre of Void Spirit's going to try and counter initiate. Eurus is very deep here with the BKB on cooldown, but they get across to provide him a little bit of space. Nothing says going to move forward once again, but it looks like the roll doesn't fly through. They got the Yurus have to try and control him. BKB is about to come up in a couple seconds here. Can they kill him throughout the duration before he gets it off in time? Now Eurus makes it up with the high guard. He's going to try and turn nothing. Say could down once again. Eurus, he's somehow still alive. The dagger just gets the kill. But Radiant, they can continue on. Eurus going to buy back, join them with the outpost. Arme bashed up. He's going to be careful. They try and get the roll, but look at the damage coming through. Nice kick down to the low ground army somehow still alive but what's the consequence the buyback on the earth spirit will kick forward fades beyond we'll be able to bring down the slaughter a lot of buybacks getting forced out here yuris is going to be able to rejoin the fight though uh oh faith beyond can he get the chain on the high ground he can we want to be showing buybacks we don't care about the net worth right now no one's got buybacks though pretty much look at the cleave faith beyond Gotta be careful, Eurus. You might have to just give up the racks here. No Ravage, no BKB on Eurus. They're gonna try and slowly chip him down. Why he's doing a decent job at that. Eurus is gonna be careful. He did just buy back. They're gonna posture aggressively. Yang as well. They're gonna roll forward. Red Panda counter initiating with the BKB pop. As Zinku's falling low to the right clicks. They're gonna try and reset the fight. Army doesn't feel content with going forward, even though he's got the horn. God Stress, it's about to wear off as well, but he will still find one kill before it expires. Now Faith Beyond is outside the base. Oh the, my god, the crits, it's just way too much. They can't deal with the gobble up on the back line. Earth Spirit's found, it's all up to Army. He'll try and juke and drive through the horn. He's got the blade mode, we'll find one. Gets the heal back as well, but where's the follow-up stuns? We'll stop the blink from Red Panda, so Army will keep his ground. There's a TD on FY as well, but it's Mega Creep Gaming. LGD are going to have to somehow have a miraculous hold against them. I just need to wait till they have all their heroes alive. You cannot posture this aggressively. How many? I don't think they've got any more repair kits. We, we didn't see them before. Oh, LSA. Why is in trouble though? They've got so much minus armor. So even this untouchable, if they hit him once, it takes like a chunk out of his health pool. Or you just Laguna Blade and completely cut him down. 
So Enchantress dead for 45, Timber's back alive, but it looks like the tier 4 towers are now under threat, Eurus with the God Strength. They need to do something, they need to do it now, Is on top of the backline, there they go, nothing to say, can't find the initiation. Has to now pop the ultimate to be able to disengage, but he's in trouble, instead Faith Burn, they're going to turn towards him. He doesn't have many reactive armor stacks, he will pay the price, as Somnus with the level 25 is just zoning them back. Tier 4 is a drop, the throne's going to die, L-O-G-D. Got to tap out of here in this second game as Eurus's Ven goes absolutely man mode. A 40 minute victory from them, and this is a treat. I am so excited for this game three. And he's level three, so like we highlighted, once you got two points up in the attribute shift, you're going to feel a lot safer in this lane. He's also got a bottle coming out as well with top lane, FY. Frostbite's going to give him some space along with the Blast Dyer's and the Crystal Nova, but Dyer, they're chasing. Dyer's going to be able to secure first blood, although it looks like Yang wants a little bit of revenge here. Going to have a blood right up. It looks like it might not even matter. Y has to duck down to the western side, but it allows Yang to get a little bit closer. And now here comes his extra thirst movement speed. Get the first kill of the game here for Elephant. Is, you know, honestly, for a, your 2-2 two -two intel gain, not the worst on the Bloodseeker. You can constantly spam out a couple of blood rights. This is a much better... I mean, Armin's only got nine last hits, though, so if he found that kill... Well, Eurus getting chased down. Now, we're going to have a roll forward as well, which he does sidestep the roll, but Eurus is in trouble. Waveform's still down. He's just constantly right-clicked, and with the last fairy fire, but the missile's going to come... And why we'll be able to secure it's actually nothing to say that gets the last right click for the damage there They do take away the bottle refill of the death prophet um, Yeah, he's doing very well in last hits and this tower is going to take a lot of damage early Once faith beyond wants to start putting some aggression on but it looks like radiant just want to continue hunting Arme, Who's under threat with this crystal maiden bloodseeker combo He's got a couple of reinforcements coming in the area, but it looks like it might just be a little bit too late. Dinku's roll and kick is off the mark, and now he's got to be careful as well. His blood right with the pure damage ban. Yang's on a mega kill streak. Trying to slowly chip him down. But Ame's actually going to TP back to the lane. We still got some aggression out in the river as Eurus with this replicate. They dodge the arrow, but now with the star summon, the waveform magic damage is going to be enough to find a kill. They can continue chasing his Yang. He's got the rupture of Faith Beyond. TP it in. Now he's just going to have to run himself away, but sets up for this blood riot. And now Faith Beyond will fall as well. That's a double kill for Eurus. This game is starting to get a little bit out of hand, considering they're going to be able to take a tier 1 tower mid super early. You already see, I mean, Bloodseeker, 4,000 net worth. Now, top as well, Arme. They've got the bash into the crush. I mean, why? Will be a little bit of protection. So I'm just going to play pretty up in their face, knowing he's got this haste. And now, Radiant just going to come top. Like, Arme TP'd here. Now they've got the arrow set up once again. It's already down to a third HP. They'll pop the Exism. Somnus actually wants to get aggressive, but he doesn't have Banner for the Star Storm. Yang on top of the backline, however, will clean up. So it's another big kill on Arme, who's really struggled in the laning stage in every game. So they're getting no extra towers for map control. So they're going to start getting really pressured inside a portion of the map. And Spectre is no way near this blade mail build that he wants with the dispersion. And now top, Death Prophet. Getting brought pretty low here. Why is going to try and get in range, but the silence lasts for so long with the blood right. Six seconds. He couldn't get any siphon charges off. Man, this is why. Okay, I now fully see this Crystal Maiden Bloodseeker. They are going to smoke up and try and catch him, but this is very difficult. They're baiting the range creep, though. Yuri's going to be careful. I believe the smoke pops out from Yang. Really nicely done. And now the Chantra's going to get caught out with the Blood Riot. Atos combined up. Yuris even utilizing this replicate, trying to find nothing to say, prevent him from getting the haste. They are actually turning their attention away from the Enchantress, so die. They're going to try to keep him alive, however, but FY is going to let it go. A lot of damage in Q4. is about to half HP. Is now, Yuris comes from out of nowhere. Three dead. Probably make it four as well with the Atos arrow combined up. LGD are crumbling right now in this last game of the second series of the night. Last game, well, we, we honestly have seen Arme somehow literally just free farm around the triangle camp and them not pressure him a lot. They're going to have to do something, though. Those bounties are about to come up, Red Panda. 
We'll scout at the movement inside the river. He's going to probably end up falling, though. Yuri's going to take the fight with the drop damage rune. Goes on forward, finds the kick slow into the wave form, and it's an immense amount of damage. Now, Zinku's going to get caught out with the arrow from Somnus as well, but they're not done. Yang, he wants blood. Finds the rupture, nothing to say. Getting controlled will attempt the TP. That's why I should be able to get their in range to cancel it. And he does. Nicely done. With only about a quarter duration left on the double damage runes. 16 minutes in. First age of the game here. Eurus has already got Manta. And he's almost got a pipe completed on Yang. I mean, once he has this pipe, dude, the rest of the team's going to get so hard to kill. They're posturing pretty aggressively. Dai got a nice observe, but instantly the Manta. Gonna be able to get rid of that control from the silence. That looks like they're going to disengage. You know, the exorcism has been completed committed here they gotta be careful nothing to say still posturing aggressively now with the rupture really halting his position so far it's just gonna eat the full brunt of the force and the siphon's not gonna be enough here yuri's gonna be able to keep his life as well with the arrow on top of the back line they'll find the earth spirit the second spirit as well with avenge and a triple for yuris when do we think they tap out because Ame hasn't haunted to show up to a fight, which we don't really think he's going to haunt there. They've also got Somnus who's trying to link up with them as well, who is getting scouted out underneath the ward. They see he popped the Moonlight Shadow. Nothing to say, though. He's got to be super careful. They get the Atos to control him. Zinku's on the back line. It's a nice dual set that's going to disrupt the initiation, but it sets up for the arrow. Finally, is going to show up the haunts. It's a decent amount of damage on top of Red Panda, but the Magnetize down with the swap gets rid of the Freezing Field as well. They're falling pretty low on the Bloodseek. Yang's going to try and disengage, but he won't be able to. FY's in trouble as well, but Yuris is actually going to commit forward. He still has the Aegis for another two minutes here, even trying to utilize the Replicate as well. A nice man to dodge, but the Waveform's still on cooldown. Can he get away, however? They're lacking the stuns on Dyer. Even, oh, actually goes back in, Yuris, trying to find the kill on ZinQ, swapped away. Okay, three for one. 10 second BKB and an Aegis. They're now going to be able to give the cheese over to Yang, probably. Or uh, Somnus, potentially. Either or all. A connection like an Atos or like a straight arrow. I guess Atos arrow combined or, you know, just running them down, getting them out of the blood ride or the rupture range. But you want to keep, you want to protect that ward around the triangle camp, I think, is yours. They're going to roll forward on FY. Now with the backline wrap, however, they're going to be able to burst through. Actually, Vengeful Spirit, yeah, will end up falling. Yuris pops the BKB to start the fight. Now with Replicant of the Death Prophet as well, they're stuck inside the river. They've got the Exorcism, so it looks like Dai need to commit for the fight here. But with two heroes already down and a beautiful blood right combined up with the double crush from Red Panda. They're just going to all end up dropping as it's four dead from LGD. Ah, oh, mate. Just runs into the middle with the Radiance, but unfortunately that just wasn't enough here as... E3 is now down, and the Blood Rite's just able to zone them out. Zinku's the only way they can initiate forward. It's going to be a melee Rax claim. Can be a full set of Rax if they really want, because they know that Dyer don't have ultimates. Smoke is about to expire on the high ground. Looks like FY could be the target. It's not going to be easy to be able to bring him down. He's got Glimmer and Mech. They're going to try and move forward, however. Can FY get some help fast enough, however? The Glimmer Cape, and now it looks like they're going to be able to turn towards the rest of the team. It's Faith Beyond pops the Force Off's going to be able to get the distance, but die. They need to retreat away. They didn't get the initiation they were looking for. Arme actually wants to commit to the fight here. They're going to join up. Rupture controlling up. Nothing to say. Enchantress has already died to start the fight. They're going to lose a one for two. Now continuing up. Where's the follow up catch, however? Arme's out of there instantly. They'll miss the arrow. They're just going to walk up higher gun. That's all their ultimates on cooldown from Dyer, so it's going to make it very difficult for them to offer a high ground defense. Oh, shotgun. Bye bye, Ven. Just got a buyback, but Eurus arrow clips on Zinku as well. What a nice arrow from Somnus. The icing on the cake, even with the Atos controlling up the Spectre. Gets the Mantis, get rid of the Corrosive Haze. They're going to buy back in Zinku with the roll fall. It's a decent silence. Magnetize combined up here. They've got to be careful raiding as they are getting brought pretty low. Yang pops the BKB with a defensive blood riot. Yuris, actually, this impetus doing a decent amount of work here. Zinq, another roll aggressively for They're on top of the higher ground. Yuris has to turn with the BKB. He's still got the cheese as well. Rated, they're getting chased down. Somnus pops a very late Moonlight Shadow. Still has the BKB as well. We'll do so at the last second. Another more leap charge to be able to utilize. But they're continuing to hunt Somnus. He'll attempt to TP out under the cover of the BKB. The physical damage is not there. I believe FY died as well. But, I mean, it's not showing the fight recap, so... Uh oh. Oh, nothing to say. Don't walk up the high ground. There's a DD on Eurus. He's going to shred one, probably shreds another as well. This card is slow. They even solar crest up Eurus just for the sake of it. And they're not done. 
They find Y on top of the outpost here, so he's just going to get chased down. He's got a TP, but a double waveform from Eurus, who's level 25 already. Oh my god. Dude, Eurus had such a good game 2 and 3. Once the DP is alive, they're going to have their ultimate spot. Looks like Radiant probably just going to be able to get a full set of racks before the, the Death Prophet's alive. So that's the second full set. I mean, they got 1% on LGD. This is this Roche fight. That's the 1%. Although this Roche might just get melt. Oh my god. Do, 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 do. Bye bye, Roche. Refresh a shot on the deck. They pop the Exo, but it's a little bit too late. Die. They might be forced to take the fight, but nothing to say. It's just going to get shredded, man. The waveform with the crits just do way too much damage with the waveform attacking targets. Now Face Beyond's going to get bursted with the shotgun. It's all up to Arme. But the physical damage is there to go through the BKB. LGD buying back and still not calling it quits. Zell, what is it? Who popped the refresher shot? I don't even know. I think it was CM, but... Alright, Spectre's got buyback. Horns available. They're going to try and roll forward and take the fire, but now instantly assassinate the backline of Jurist. They're going to be able to find a second kill on the support. He's tanking up a lot of damage on the Morphling, but remember, he's got this second life to be able to utilize, and it looks like Arme is going to be a dieback for him as well. So, Elephant... They'll take our second series of the night, two to one. This was, honestly, I'm surprised LGD didn't tap out about 15 minutes earlier, if that. You know, I thought this game would have been over by about 20 minutes considering how far ahead Elephant was, but 